Alright, yeah, here we go. Uh, this is a uh, part of Spike Moe post. Uh, it's called uh, Sydney Suckles. Death to the Sydney Suckles. I don't care what you think. I hate the mole superficial smiles as they stab you in the back, desperately seeking to be California. Living in their backyard, barbecue, cabaret lifestyles. All our six o'clock news is out of Sydney. But I don't live in Sydney. And neither do you. When I want to find out my state cricket team scores, what do I get? I get New South Wales cricket scores instead. But I live in another state. Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Shoving their wannabe culture down our throats. Their sport is rugby. Drunken meatheads wrestling in a car park. Their art is as artless as their bridge made of Legos and Meccano sets. Their literature is... Scream you down, talkback radio, deaf, dumb and blind to everything outside their metropolitan boundaries. They've got George Powell as their bishop, and they think that's something to brag about. Thank God for that, because no one else would have him, and that's a bloody fact. When Sydney siders talk about Australia, they think and believe that means Bondi Beach. And so what if they have a harbour? It's blue because of algae and fish diarrhoea. I'm sick of their holier-than-now cop corruption superiority complex. Just makes me want to laugh. And free Australian media from their painted tan Botox grasp. I hate Sydney suckholes. And Jerry Seinfeld, you got it wrong. The city of Sydney is the arsehole of Australia. There you go. <laughs> I know, it's bad. But it's that time of day, ain't it? End of the week.